there, friendly meat bags, bots, and what or whoever else might be watching. As mentioned in yesterday's Andy Ditch video, Intel foretold something big in the near future for Cyrax. Well, this is almost definitely it. Turns out some of Chance's new besties are buddy trolls. I am Jack's complete lack of surprise. Thank you, Ed Norton. That pretty much perfectly sums up our feelings. However, these trolls had a plan to take Raxo down, which is a noble goal, and indeed, one that we share. However, they made a few faux pas, shall we say. First, they assumed Marty wants Chance locked away, too. <laughs> Please pardon my laughter. When you get to know someone like Marty, the thought of him actually wanting Chance taken away is hilarious. Raxo is really all Marty has as far as lolcows go. He makes plenty of money abusing and letting himself be abused by the goblin without Chance to panel up. Marty is losing money and casual fans. Case in point, he did a two hour live stream about dogs. It was so lame, even he didn't feel right asking for money, which I must say was also quite a surprise. However, we doubt he returned any he happened to be sent. Digression arrested! Anyway, expecting Marty to help put Chance where he belongs is like expecting the Joker to be lucid and reasonable. My father was a drinker and a fiend, and one night, he goes off crazier than usual. Mommy gets the kitchen knife to defend herself. He doesn't like that. Not one bit. So, me watching, he takes the knife to her, <laughs> laughing while he does it, <clears throat> turns to me and says, Why so serious? Comes at me with the knife. Why so serious? He sticks the blade in my mouth. Let's put a smile on that face. And... Why so serious? So, does that mean you don't want any cards? This guy, this guy is the lowest of the low. He's the most demonic. Tell me, tell me, tell me three times in a row so I can call you Chance, you fucking reason. All right, I'll be quiet then. I'll be quiet. Come on, man. I'll be quiet. You're smarter than this. Right. Marty, you're smarter than this. I got more respect for you than that. Sorry, Marty, man. I do, man. Come on. You're a fucking intelligent guy. You're not a fucking idiot. Man, uh, it's debatable. It's debatable. Marty. Yeah, well, whatever. This is Steve's mom. I want to help Hello. We are. Our goals are the same. If we can help anybody get him where he needs to be, that's what we want. He belong. He be he's so like you can't get him. You can't get him out of the house. You can't. It's impossible. So he belong. He, be he belongs. To, he belongs suffering. These poor people have already given Marty their contact information. So going to stage two with them will be quite easy for Marty and his allies. In the interest of clarity, it's important to note, Chance has other new friends. He's still got his frauditor buddy Terry and the slow guy in his mid-twenties who helped explain where Chance was when Trump was grazed. We'll see what happens with them in the future. Chance can't keep friends. Either they find out he's a sicko or Chance himself will do something to fuck things up. Here we have another case of the latter. It seems that Steve had Chance all psyched up to go race some go-karts. That's right, he believed he was going to get Chance to willingly leave the sanctuary. Chance said he was down for it, but of course he wasn't. Uh, right before they were supposed to go, evidently Chance hurt his knee. He told Steve he couldn't go, but at the same time decided to ask Steve to buy and build a brand new go-kart just for him. Which sounds like classic Cyrax. Remember when he tried getting his Irish catfish to buy him a racing rig and run off with him? If not, check out this card to a video talking about it. This is the first we've heard about Steve and his mom. We aren't sure whether to expect more from them or if they'll be forced out of the war like so many others before. 
However, once again, we can't fault them for seeing the disaster that is Chance Wilkins and wanting to do something about him. They have simply shown how not to go about it. We highly encourage folks to have a look around at the people covering Raxi before making any moves of their own. It cannot be stressed enough, not everyone wants Chance off the internet. Some make money off of him, others just like having a regarded dunce to make fun of. Neither group cares what he does with kiddos or what happens to his family. Never mind if some kid gets used by chance, the lulls in cash must flow. Anyway, we will be watching to see what happens next. Have a great seventh of a week.